talking about my fucking parents my parents are very religious conservative Christians to be specific not in a particular denomination to be even extra specific but um, you could say they were most similar to the Baptists. If you know anything about, well, if you don't know anything about Christians, there are different denominations, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, all that. Um, Catholics are a different religion, technically. Um, but Christians and all their denominations within Christianity are offshoots from Catholicism. Whole different um, thing, uh, discussion. Anyways, so my parents are from an unnamed group of Christians, basically, that are most similar to Baptists. There. Um, and uh, they were very strict on my fellow siblings and I. Uh, I had, have three other brothers and one sister, and of whom I am the youngest. So just to give you a bit of light on how my siblings and I were raised, let me share with you some of the beliefs and rules that we had to live with. Now, I had to write all these down because it would have to take the mind of an elephant to memorise all this, or someone who doesn't have to work a 40-hour week job. Anyways, so... Yes, now, just to remind you, not all Christians are like this. So, <coughs> beliefs and rules of my parents. Um, they believed in uh, they believe in only one God, but that he has three parts, Father, Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. They believe that God made the world in six days, roughly 6,000 years ago. Uh, they believe that God said to be fruitful and multiply, so they think all forms of birth control are murder. Well, equal to it. They uh, also believe that tattoos, drinking and smoking of any kind is a sin. Again, not all Christians, just my parents in this particular case. Although a lot of them are against tattoos and drinking and smoking. Um, yeah, number five here, let's see it. No ma uh, they believe that no matter how good you are, you deserve to burn in hell if you don't believe Jesus died for your sins, came back to life, and you don't ask him to forgive you. Plain and simple. Um, and uh, if you... Sorry, got to read my own notes here. Uh, oh yeah, you have to be truly sorry for your sins and prove you're a Christian by living life. That's part of the unforeseen conditions of becoming a Christian, is the pressure of acting like one. My parents also believed that dating, premarital sex, and even tight-fitting or revealing clothing are all bad. They even have their own version of dating, Bible-based dating that they or someone else they knew came up with or something but it basically involves the guy has to go to the girl's dad and ask him may I ask your daughter out with the intention of dating her on a long term basis to potentially marry her Like, your intentions are to marry her or find out if she's not your type. And that's their idea of how one should date. It's weird. It's very, very ridiculously formal. 
but that's what they believe. And uh, my father even attempted to uh, get my sister to let him pick her husband out for her. Uh, very, very Middle Eastern thing. It, it's, it's found in the Bible as well. And my sister was not okay with him doing that. And fortunately, he didn't try to make her go through with it. That, w that would not have gone well knowing my sister. Um, my parents also believe that most men should marry for the sake of being fruitful and multiplying, and that women should stay at home till they are married, and should for the most part be stay-at-home mothers who are submissive to the husbands, and that men should always be in charge of anything involving leadership. Yeah, um, a, a bit sexist, I, I know. Um, and uh, let me remind you, not all Christians are like this. I, I don't know how modern Christians um, uh, are okay with equality. I really don't know. I don't know how they explain it or anything. Um, because by my knowledge, um, um, and, I, and I know the Bible quite well actually, um, it's a pretty fucking sexist book. Yeah, um, but that's where my parents got <laughs> these fucking ideas. And um, this is part of what I was meant to believe growing up. And of course, my father was an adamant believer in going to church Sunday, Sunday night, Wednesday night, and any other day that there were things going on at the church. He also believed in spanking as the primary form of punishment. Now, my dad, he was, uh, he was tall and uh, pretty intimidating. He always had a very um, serious expression on his face. And um, but he was just somehow very intimidating. And, um, you know, between, you know, a tall, kind of scary looking guy who happens to be your dad and spanks you as a primary form of punishment is, um, uh, is rather terrifying. Um, even to other kids, uh, other kids didn't want to sit by him in church. Uh, in fact, uh, a punishment used on other kids in church was them being made to go sit by my dad. Uh, yeah, we were scared of him even uh, when we were behaving. And um, the spanking itself, it was... Uh, there, there was a whole ritual to it. It's kind of, kind of strange. Um, uh, I, I don't know what uh, uh, what the uh, procedure is for other parents, but uh, but uh, he'd have us. Uh, well, we, uh, there'd be a couple uh, uh, Bible verses, one or two, typically. That uh, we we have to recite, and uh, well, okay. Um, if we were getting spanked, we were getting uh, th three lashes automatically across across the ass. Um, if we made any any flops on the verse on the Bible verses and reciting them, uh, for every mistake we made. Uh, it was an extra swap, and um, typically what my dad used was um, like those long, thin reeds that are very flexible. Um, 
very, uh, they, they really leave a, uh, like they don't leave a mark, but they, uh, they leave your ass tender. It stings quite a bit. And, um, yeah, um, we, uh, we weren't supposed to cry. Or cry very loudly, uh, and then uh, afterwards. Oh yeah, we had to pull our britches down too. We got it to uh, right across the flesh, right across the ass cheeks. Yeah, as uh, I never bled, as far as I know. Uh, I don't know uh, about the other siblings, but uh, we all got the same basic punishment. Uh, we got the. We got the tool switched up on us occasionally, but uh, the switch was the most uh, the, the most popular. Um, before you judge my dad too harshly, though, um, his own father was uh, well. His father was more strict than he was, and uh, had some serious control problems. And my father didn't want his father's failures to, um, well, he didn't. He didn't want to be like his dad for us kids, and uh, he worked real hard to be that way. Um, so, as uh, as miserable as. It could be sometimes growing up in my family. Um, I've come to respect my father a lot more uh, than before, um, because he. I mean, was he right to treat us the way he did? Well, not not really. It wasn't. It was. It was kind of rare. Well, uh, that's up for debate, really. But. Um, was he doing his genuine best to raise us right? And uh, I would say absolutely to that. Um, genuine love is still genuine love. Even if it's not expressed in a, in a good way. And as being good conservative Christians, there was no swearing, of course. Not even dang or crap, heck, or even gosh. Because it was too close to God, and heck was too close to hell. Yes. Uh, when it came to music, we were limited to Christian music and classical music. Oh, no, no, no. Not, not contemporary Christian music. Oh, no. That, that was, a, that, that is a sinful genre all of its own. Some of it, anyways. That's a whole other thing between Christians. Uh, silly ordeal, really. Um, but yes, uh, when I say Christian music, I'm talking old songs. Very old songs. Bit of a different style you might say, than uh, any of today's uh, modern music, or the modern music that has existed for the last, what, fucking 60, 80 years? I don't know. <laughs> These songs are fucking old. I, I, I don't even know. There's, there's history books written about the songs that Christians sing. It's ridiculous. And some of some of them are just not into the new music. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyways, so yes, very 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 old Christian songs, or we could listen to classical music, as in Beethoven, Chopin, Strauss, Mozart, all those guys. Oh yes, movies, of course, no swearing. Yes, we well, my parents went through some experimental phases, and for a time they thought. Uh, it's better to live without a TV. 
Unfortunately, I wasn't born during that time. So, yay for me. Uh, but the movies we were able to see, let's see, uh, of course, no swearing. And, uh, oh yes, no nudity or anywhere near close to um, a naked woman. Nothing close. Uh, no woman in a bathtub or just wearing a towel. Nope, not they were typically not okay with it. Although some things occasionally slipped through somehow. Um Oh uh, yeah, they were funny when it came to Disney. Um, they didn't like Aladdin because of how Jasmine was dressed. They didn't like Hercules because he was about other gods. And like, even though we don't believe in them, believe in them. Yeah, yeah that's what I said. Um, even though we didn't believe in them, I don't. I don't know why my parents were not okay with that. Um, Maybe because he just looked fucking cool. Way cooler than Jesus. Just saying. Being honest, really. Um, oh yeah, I didn't like the mermaid because of how she was dressed and because she was a runaway who disobeyed her parents and she and everything turned out great for her. More on that later. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, they didn't like, oh yeah, they did not like Harry Potter one bit. Uh, nothing witches or wizard related. I actually had to work on my dad to be okay with Lord of the Rings because there are fucking wizards in it and the wizards are the good guys. Well, Gandalf is anyways. Oh yes, um, yes, they thought Pokemon was evil, um, yeah, those were, those were the type of parents I had. And uh, we didn't grow up watching sports either. My parents actually did not have anything against sports. We just didn't grow up on them. So it just wasn't a part of our lives. So that's the nutshell of what my nuthouse family believes. Yes, they really do believe in all of it. The devil, God... Heaven, hell, prayer. My uh, my next oldest brother, uh, before I was alive, uh, he didn't want to be the youngest brother, and uh, he wanted a younger brother for himself. And uh, so he decided he would pray until he got one. And, uh, of course... Uh, it was always uh, joked about how uh, I was practically prayed into existence. But the uh, funny thing is, the only thing he and my parents have ever known is be fruitful and multiply. I don't think they know how it fucking works. They don't know a damn thing about birth control, condoms, any of that shit. They don't know how to stop. They don't know... You know... You know they, they believe every child is a blessing. And, in, you know, yeah, every child can be a blessing. If it chooses to be so when it gets older. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, I don't think they ever had a plan to stop shagging. And um, so I would, or me or someone else was going to pop out sooner or later, and the uh, next person happened to be me. And, uh, of course, they attribute it to God, but, uh, you know, you believe what you want to believe. But that is all the time we have for today, so... Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and you'll want to hit the subscribe button because next week we begin the stories. Until then, farewell.